Hey, Jimmy Martin here, your real estate professional with Coldwell Banker. And today I am here at 1178 Primrose Drive. And this home is located in Cobblestone Park, which is in Blythewood, South Carolina. It has four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it has over um, 2,900 square feet and a two car garage. Plenty of room to be able to park. But enough about that, let's take this virtual tour inside. As you can see, this home has plenty of parking spaces. So you could park probably at least four cars out here, plus two in the two car garage. And if you notice the facade on the front, that's just not regular vinyl siding. That's more of a hardy plank. It's um, hard to the touch. It's not soft like your normal vinyl siding. And of course you have newer windows. Of course this home was, um, was built in 2016, so it is a newer home. And uh, you have the glass door in the front right here. A little small sitting area, so you could put like a bench like these people had out front, sit out here. It's nice and quiet as you see that some of the different parts of the neighborhood. So yes, you are close to your other neighbors, but when we get to the backyard, that's gonna be your own little paradise. You'll be able to make it any way you want, sleep, uh, clean slate, and you'll be able to put anything you want, even a pool if you wanted to. Okay, as we're walking through the door, as you notice, it does have hardwood floors, and these are engineered hardwood floors. And you see this is more of an open space, so people's like, well, what would this room be used for? And of course, that's your formal dining room there. Now, I have seen a lot of people where they will close this off and make this into their office. They'll have like, some French doors with a frosted glass, or you can leave it like it is. You can always put your Christmas tree up here at Christmas time, or you could have it huge where you could have a nice long table here. That way you could entertain a lot of guests for Thanksgiving as we walk around you see that it does have the chair railing around there in the dining room area you do have um some lights that 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 can be changed out you may that may not be your style they don't have much furniture because they're in the process of of course moving and you do have a small bath right there <clears throat> now as we're leaving the formal dining room you do see the half bath here or it's what they call a two-piece so that's all this is it's just a a, a sink and a toilet as we pan around to the right, you will see this is the main living area. And as you notice, the hardwood floors go all the way inside here. I think the whole downstairs is hardwood floors. And that's a gas fireplace. This one flip and uh, got your fire going. And the furniture here is a little bit on the big side, but it fits perfectly in here because this is a good size room. And as we pan over to the left, as you see the kitchen that's in here, we have a gas range. We have the um, granite countertops that we have in here. We do have an island here in the kitchen. There is an eat-in kitchen here, as you can see. And then around here, that door that's all the way right there is, of course, your going into the garage. This is a good-sized pantry that they have in here. And also, you have a good-sized laundry. This is just another shot of um, the living room and the kitchen. As you can notice that it does have recessed lighting in the kitchen and uh, you could put some bar stools um, there uh, if you wanted to you just have a little area right there where you could put some bar stools and uh, then we're going to go upstairs and then we're going to see the four bedrooms upstairs as we make our way upstairs um, and in a lot of these new construction homes again this house was built in 2016 so it's not um, too old of course you do have this flex area now i tell a lot of people this can be a, a good area for for children you see you have a little gaming area here It'd be a good place for where if you have small children their toys can be everywhere and if you do have friends over they don't have to hurry up and clean them up so i do, I do tell people that this is a nice little flex area yes you could probably close this off and make another room out of it make that area back there where they have the case make it to a closet and then put your wall here and make it to a whole nother bedroom because that's the way it could be done. And off to the left is one of their kids' bedroom. And it does have a walk-in closet just like all the other rooms. And if you look over here is the other bedroom. And then the last guest bedroom is here. This is the uh, bathroom that for the three bedrooms, this is the bathroom. It does have dual vanity, so if you do you have two two um, boys or two girls they'll be able to brush your teeth at the same time and of course you know, have the shower over there it's like one piece 
It does have a, another door to go. That door goes into where they're using this as their office right now. So that door goes back into that room. Now, as we're leaving the flex here, right at the top of the stairs, as you can see, this is the master bedroom. Now, this master is it's a really good size. It's got vaulted ceiling. You got a ceiling fan in here, and that's a lot of a lot of lot of um, new construction. Um, they don't come with ceiling fans, and so this home already has ceiling fans in almost every room. And that's a queen a king size bed, so therefore, it is a it's got a lot of room in here. A lot of room to be able to have your Oversized furniture, regular sized furniture, and of course you have um, dual vanities here. And as you pan around, you do have a soaking tub and you do have a stand-up shower here. You do have a water closet that does, you, you, the area does close. And you do have a pretty good size um, closet in here. Now what you could do with this is you could double, double decorate. They didn't, they don't, they, something they didn't do. But of course you could put two different rows in here. It's big enough to be able to do that. Just wanted to give you another view of the master and uh, good size it is. Now remember that this home is uh, less than a couple years old, built in 2016. So your windows in the whole home are gonna be energy efficient. So that's something to think about. And as you walk out of the bathroom, or walk out of the master uh, bedroom or the owner suite is what they call it now, as you see you in your flex, room the other two couple of rooms to the right and down back downstairs now in the kitchen area of course we have the backyard and this is one of the pluses about this it does have a covered area for um, you to be able to sit out here in the evening so right now it's around 11 30 12 o'clock and sun is just over us and starting to cast more of a shade here so in the afternoon you would have more shade at this home and of course you do have a fenced in backyard. That's a plus with a lot of homes. A lot of homes are not fenced in and and some of them, you know, it's, it's extra expense, a couple thousand dollars. So, and they have a trampoline back here. And one of the good things is it's nice and flat. That's what I like about this lot. So if they want to put in not a huge pool, but they could, there's no over overhead power lines. So if they wanted to be able to put a pool in, they could. And just want to give you a look at the uh, back side of the house. Standing back here in the corner, beautiful, beautiful lot. Well, guys, that's our virtual walkthrough for 1178 Penrose Drive inside of Cobblestone Park in beautiful Blythewood, South Carolina. If you want to know more about this home, you can give me a call. We can talk more about it, of course. But let me tell you a little bit about Cobblestone Park. It is a gated community. Uh, we have a resort-style swimming pool here. We have plenty of walking trails. And uh, we have a clubhouse where if you don't want to cook dinner that night, you can order from. So there's a lot of amenities um, in this uh, community that warrant that $115 a month. I know it's kind of steep for some people, and some people are like, well, that's really much of nothing. But $115 a month, and once you see that pool, the uh, tennis course is down there, you'll fall in love with Cobblestone Park. If you want to know more about that, just Google Cobblestone Park in Blythewood, South Carolina, and you can be able to get more information that way. If you're interested in this home, please give me a call at 803-238-7227.